the Joe Rogan experience. My balls was hot one was the famous one. I don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. how's things, man? Things been crazy. Been really I can crazy. only imagine. Yeah. After that knockout of Curtis Blades, like, uh, whew. I mean, that, that got a lot of attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it felt real great, good to knock him out because he was talking a lot of trash before the fight. Isn't that, like, par for the course, though? Everybody talks shit before the fight. Um, even whenever I'm doing good, though. He's been talking at least three years now. He's been talking mess to me. Really? Yeah. Do you take that shit personally? Um, I, I do because I'm not in there trying to sell tickets. Don't just come to me try to sell tickets to talk trash. You know, I take everything personal. Yeah, some guys do just try to sell tickets. Mm -hmm. And then they, they'll say it's not personal. It's just like... When Khabib Nurmagomedov was fucking up Connor when he was on top of him, pounding on him, going, "Let's talk now, let's talk now." Remember that? Yeah, yeah. And he goes, "It's just business," you know. It's like this is not business. No, no. I go in into every fight like life or death, and I go, in, I enter a deep dark place every time I step inside the octagon. So it's not business for me. What was interesting is after the fight. I mean, it was just such a spectacular <laughs> knockout. But after the fight, you were so nonchalant. You were just so relax and you're like i couldn't get started in there and everybody's like mm. what the fuck are you talking about you couldn't get started you just it was one of the most spectacular knockouts in the history of the heavyweight division and you're like oh, i couldn't get started yeah um so i went back home and got my blood and everything tested and my t levels was like in the 300s so i had very low t so it's like you mean testosterone yes you mm -hmm. have low testosterone yes that's ridiculous yeah I would never uh, if you had, if I was gonna make a bet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so like I try to spend all my energy on my wife, so it's kind of hard because <laughs> if I don't have the energy for her, then she will think I'm out there messing around and stuff like that. So, so did they know why your testosterone was low? Um, Maybe you overtrained or something? No, I don't. We we don't know yet. So I want to go to another doctor that the lady was just telling me about. Oh wow, yeah. that's crazy. So that's why you felt lethargic. Yes, yeah. yes. It was like that all week. So I, I, at first I was, I thought it was the jet lag or something like that, but it ended up just being my T-levels. That was a, like one of the most perfectly timed uppercuts I've ever seen. It was perfect. Yeah, we practiced that for the last few months. Yeah. So that was the game plan when he shoots to catch him coming in? Yes, either the knee or the uppercut. Um, we knew he was going to be there. We knew he was going to try to play the game, try to stand up for a little bit. Then the way he shoots, he don't really shoot like um, a real wrestler. He shoots like from the hip down and come in like that. He doesn't bend the knee and try to come in. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. So he goes, he hinges, he goes yes. forward. Yes, Why do you think he does that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know it's usually the wrestler, they – Drop a knee, then shoots. Yeah. But he just bend down, and I'm guessing he was just trying to grab my leg to pick it up or something like that. I don't know. So how, how did you get involved in fighting? What was your first experiences? First experience was like, because everyone knew I loved fighting in the streets, like every weekend at parties and stuff like that. And so one of my friends had told me um, about MMA, and I was like, I didn't really know anything about MMA at the time. And he, t he told me to watch this? videos. This was like 10 years ago. Did you have any martial arts training at all? No, I don't. I, I still don't have any martial arts training, really. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Of course really. you do. You're a professional somewhat, martial somewhat, artist. Somewhat, I'm watching YouTube videos now, so I'm learning some stuff now. Really? Yeah. You're not, you're not fucking around? Like, really, I'm you serious. learn from YouTube videos? I learn, I learn from my coach as well, but I watch YouTube videos and stuff like that, too. So 10 years ago, you had no martial arts training at all? No martial art training. And where did you first start training? I just started training at a gym called Silverback MMA. And so, so this was 10 years ago. You mm -hmm. just decided to learn. Were you thinking about being a professional? Or were you just doing it for fun? Um, They say that back then I thought like 500 500 was pretty good money. You know, so they were saying that you could get paid um, $500. Um, there's three rounds or three minutes. I said, just three minutes? I didn't think. Three minutes was a long time until I got in there. It's like, damn, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so we just started training from there, though, and I fell in love with it. So it's, it's, to me, it's almost like street fighting. So it's like, yeah, I could do that. 
Well, one of the things that's changed about you over the years is your endurance. Your endurance is it, it came up in a big way. Like you can see in the Gabriel Gonzaga fight, you can see in a lot of your fights. Like you can mm -hmm. you can put pressure on people now, and and you have a, a lot of high volume with which in the beginning of your career, I think you had a harder time with. Oh yeah, and so that's really what we focus on now at um, Main Street Boxing Gym. It's my um, conditioning and my endurance and stuff like that because we feel like. That's the only weakness um, in my game right now. Yeah, but it's like you're so big. I don't even know if it's a weakness. I think it's just part of being a giant person. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. But like in the right Travis now. Brown yeah. fight's another example. Mm -hmm. Like that was a crazy fast paced fight, but you you know, you overwhelmed him. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> I love that fight too. Before the this this past fight with Curry, that was one of my favorite. And that that week going into the Travis Brown fight, I took some laxatives um, to try to help me cut some weight. But you know, I took it that Wednesday, and he was still lingering around. So it's like, man, he kicked me in my body. But he also broke my ribs. But I also did have to take a shit that day. <laughs> so <laughs> I wasn't lying about that. So yeah, <laughs> that was a ridiculous yeah. interview, though. <laughs> yeah, that fight was uh, that was that was a heavy duty fight. There's yeah. a lot of bad blood in that fight too, right? Yes, and ever since then, like whenever I do my, um, you know how they come in a few days before the commentators try to talk to you, mm -hmm. and ever since then I stopped telling the the guys what's my game plan and stuff like that because I didn't know him and Brian Stan at the time was friends. And so oh. our game plan was to come in and try to, um, to kick his legs because he used to stand real wide. Mm -hmm. But whenever me and him fought, he didn't stand like that at all, like not one time. So you think and Brian so, Stan went to him and told I him? I believe he... so. I believe oh, so. Oh, Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And he didn't tell you his strategy? No, he didn't. Damn, Brian Stan. So <laughs> I am just believe that's, that was the case. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.